What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Sun Devourer Eos account, and we're about to pump up the damage on this account even more. Every time I log on, it's like I can put a couple more points in here, which is always fun and cool. Uh, we still don't have the new update just yet on Android and iOS, that Tap Tap has the statue where we can give additional stats, and... I think going for Hunter Focus is going to be the way to go. Going for like Giant Killer, Hunter Focus, and Crit in some form is going to be the way to go because we really like having like 100% crit chance. Um, this depends on the build. Right now we have a really weird one where we're not at 100% crit, but we did manage to get past a couple really tough stages uh, in 4-1 here. You'll notice we finally got past this stage right here, which is awesome. Uh, huge, huge, huge shout out to, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot, oh my god, hold on, wait, uh, uh, Cosmo Boxer, Cosmo Boxer is like the resident knowledge brain child of <laughs> Sun Devourer Eos, Cosmo Boxer and Religion of Rage have been like pushing the borders and the, and the, the, the thresholds of Sun Devourer Eos and making really awesome content. Uh, pushes and knowing exactly how to gear the hero to beat these sometimes having less crit chance is better but then you have to have more attempts to kind of like high roll the crit chance on everybody did finish it so we're going to be able to move on in the future here but before we even do any of that there's something we got to show off we've actually hit something really cool in the galactic tree here it's only level 30 but we've managed to hit a b-roll uh, getting a ton more maim, which is just really, really awesome. Deals more damage as the target loses HP up to a bonus 9.5. Really, really good. The maim one is awesome, so we got to get that one leveled up. We don't have any star spawn on this account, but you know what we do have? We have a lot of treasure train. Literally, like, I mean, it's only like a million behind my account, so it's absolutely crazy. If you want to take a look at the train, you can kind of see... Have a decent amount of stuff. Hero token is one that we got a lot of progress on. Arcane jewelry... We're working on it. We're working on it. And the Festival Treasure is the really good one. We have the awesome one that gives that crit damage. Not quite up to five star, but still not too bad. Um, I don't know which one we're going to use the chest on. This one, I think it's 20 per level and you have to get up five. So we'll see. Um, getting this one unlocked is going to be huge. More holy damage for her is just absolutely amazing. Raw stats and, of course, all damage reduction could help. It might. Uh, but I don't know exactly what we're going to do. Adventure skill, not that much. But what we do have, we've got a lot of tickets to collect. we got 135. So we're going to do 130 of them right now just so that we can get an additional orange chest. Because as you guys know, in this event right here, if we take a look over here, and we come on down here at the 30 point mark on the second loop, we'll get another one of these chests. And yes, technically we could go for more crit damage. I don't know if it's really necessary if we take a look at the stats like we're already at 93 percent we could use more if you do swap this over to a crit, crit attack though we're already at like cap we don't really need more crit damage we'll see what they want to do we'll see because this is kind of like a team effort on this account and then we make some cool content with it let's jump in here let's do these 130 and then we can potentially save those extra five tickets roll them over we'll see single tickets are boring right we don't like doing those so let's jump into it let's get going fingers crossed we get a pink full art or treasure right away or the orange one okay we started with shards that's not bad, but we do need to get the treasure. Granted, we'll have a chest anyway. Oh, double shards? What? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Give us give us an entire treasure. An entire treasure. Huh. Come on. We've already done 30. God, are you kidding me? We're getting two times shards on every pull. Okay. Okay, oh, we got three shards, two shards, and we got the full one of the raw stats. The one with the raw stats isn't bad because, again, it's just more stats that we're getting in general. Oh, this is feeling so bad. Hopefully, we finish this with a bang here. 
Oh, oh, wait a minute. We just got both of them in the same bowl. Holy cow, we got both of them. I'm taking a screenshot. Okay, so we got all three of the treasures, which is awesome. All of them are fully ready to be maxed out. Not maxed out, to be fully unlocked. And now if we can see some... Oh, that was the worst pull I've ever seen. Two greens and all purple shards. That is garbage. Oh, uh, got two more shards. We got one more shard. Again, all these shards do add up over time. Nothing there. So it's like we had one super good pull, and the rest are all just... Zzz, oh, meh, meh, meh. Come on, man. We need better than that. We only have two more summons to go. Come on. No, we got a single shard. We did get a full red down here, I think. I think that's red. I don't think that's purple. I say that every time I look at that one. <sighs> the last 10. All right, let's see what we get. We find, okay, another single shard. Not great. I mean, at the very least, at least we unlocked everything. Get some good on the last one. No, no, we didn't. Uh, so let's do a quick, uh, crafting of all these upgrading of these disassembling of these. Okay. Let's see what we ended up with. We did, however, unlock each one of them. So we are getting all damage reduction. We are getting 10% holy damage and we're getting the stats. So that's the important part, man. We were so close. I kind of want to do the extra five to see if we can get two more shards. We get two more shards. That's going to be a bump. Let's just let's just do the last five. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. Nope, that's not where I want to be. This is where I want to be. Single pulls. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Show me orange shards. I need two orange shards. Please give them to me, game. Just just give me two. Yeah, that's not what I needed. Nope, nope, nope. We got three pulls to go. Please. I mean, that's the wrong two shards. I should have specified. <laughs> we did get two shards. Okay, we got three shards for that. Mm -hmm. oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Uh, I don't think that upgrades any of them, sadly. Now nah, we're at six of ten. Darn it. I kind of wasted those then, I guess. Uh, but we did gain about 150,000 attack off of that. And on top of that, we now have 4% all damage reduction on EOS. And we have 10% holy damage. Now, the other thing is, of course, we are going to get these chests here. So we have technically three of these that we could use all on holy damage. But again, I'm going to leave that to kind of talk about with Religion Rage, with Cosmo. Because honestly, holy damage does a lot. For a hero like Sun Devour Eos, like it hits quite a few times. There's a lot of opportunities for holy damage. It's probably better than just bumping up our existing crit damage. We'll have to see. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. A little treasure train action on Eos account. I'll see you guys next time.